hundreds of millions of people want to have better lives, moderner lives, which means more energy. The question is, is that how do we figure out a way to provide a cost-effective economic solution by giving them power? When you first try to bring electricity to a village or a small town, people can't afford to pay for it. There's, there's a capital cost up front. The world needs to develop new models of producing and consuming energy, a new energy architecture. Countries must plan for a transition to serve the needs of their future societies. Some of these factors include energy security, energy sustainability, and perhaps most of all, the need for quality economic growth. Energy is the lifeblood of the economy. We have to find ways in which the energy architecture evolve using the least possible number of resources. One of the best ways to bring energy to people is through greater economic growth. That's why if you look at a China or behind it in India, more and more people have access to modern energy. We have to use energy much more efficiently. It's possible to consume less than we consume today. If you look at the amount of effort it takes to, to build a car so that you can get into it, drive yourself to a grocery store, buy a bottle of milk and drive home. You think about the energy that's involved in that. Demand should be reduced across all countries so that you know the pressure on supply reduces and costs go down as well. We're going to see the wind industry, which is really about a 30-year-old industry, taking a bigger, bigger share. The cost of solar is coming down. The World Economic Forum has uh, created a, a report with, uh, with many important uh, stakeholders. Some countries are seeking to provide basic access to energy to their population. Other countries are seeking to modernize uh, their energy system and reduce carbon emissions. This report uh, then provides uh, solutions that the decision makers can use to help that transition. You also have a good mix of policy makers and experts who are able to challenge also the CEOs. I just uh, finished a meeting on renewable energies and I think we had an excellent discussion. I've never been to any other conference or event where you get that kind of group of people working together.